So you recently found out you have DID and you want to know more about your system or improve communication. Here's what helped us, I hope it helps you. Hi, my name is Castor, I'm the host of our system, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about the way we use journaling to help improve communication in our system, as well as helped us learn a little bit more about each other and those in the system. I will give a quick disclaimer that although these were things that worked and were helpful for us, these may not be things that will work and be helpful for everyone and every system. First thing I did to try to improve communication was make a journal, and I would leave this out somewhere that I knew it was obvious and clear that it was for use. As host of the system, I had very little intentional communication with others in the system, and I really wanted to work on that. So I left a note on the front of the journal making it clear that it was for everyone to use and some instructions inside going a little bit more in depth on how to use the journal in terms of um, making privacy more available and stuff like that. So as you can see on the front here it says please feel free to write in this journal. Please read the first page for important information. Um, and on the inside right now I have the instructions on how to use the journal and then I have the first couple pages. The first couple pages are for important announcements. Right now, with the um, virus going around, I have stuff about that. That was um, actually something that was written by Sean. That's really awesome. The rest of the journal is divided up into a couple sections. The second section is for general communication. Often stuff that has been in important announcements gets moved there when it's no longer like time-sensitive stuff or as important. That's why I like having a binder so that stuff can get like moved around if it needs to, rather than just a journal where you can't remove and move the pages. After this we have a segment for just general journaling, and then we have segments for individual private journaling. We made a way for journal entries in the general journaling entry area to be marked as private and marked as like not wanting to be read by anyone other than who wrote it. But this is just a way that someone can have a segment that's just for them and no one else will be writing in there and it'll be more private and just an area for them to have their thoughts. And that was really important to us that we had um, that available for anyone who wanted it. As you can see, Iris customized her little area here with, oh god, the cat's playing with a toy right behind me. <laughs> yeah? She's unhappy that I'm paying attention to the camera and not to her. But yeah, as you can see, Iris customized her little area with some stickers and we just have it nice and like... <laughs> okay. What you doing? <laughs> if you're looking for a little structure or just a little more in a journal, there are some really good ones you can buy online too that are designed specifically for systems. One that I have bought and that I know some other systems have bought and really liked as well is one that I found on Amazon. And you can actually find a lot of different versions of this one with some different cover art that are really pretty. The journal includes sections for system rules, altered check-in, um, including a place where you can note time and switch triggers and notes, alter introduction and profile pages, system map pages, it's got gratitude prompts and inspirational quotes with these really cool illustrations you can color in, um, DID symptom trackers, mood and energy logs, and just line journal pages for journaling. So you've got these alter check-in areas. Um, where you can log the name, the switch start time, duration, date, notes and trigger switch. We've got um, member introduction and profile where you can record a lot about the alter. Their name, age, birthday, gender identity, um, sexuality, likes, dislikes, um, characterization and notes about them. Um, We've got these great gratitude prompts and coloring pages, and then just a symptom tracker list, which I think could be really, really helpful. Um, mood and energy tracker. Um, it's just overall really good way to keep track of um, your system and to get to know each other a little better. I've seen a lot of people use this journal and really like it. I know systems in person as well as systems online who have liked it. 
I have no idea who makes it, but it's really cool, and I definitely recommend it. So there can also be fun other little ways to get to know your system better. Um, our best friend got us this little question a day for five years um, book. It's got, I'll open up to a part that hasn't been used yet. It's got a question a day and five spots where it can be filled in. And she got this for us specifically with the intention of a different altar filling it in in a different spot so that, um, you know, different folks could answer questions differently and we could get to know each other a little better that way. And I thought that was really awesome of her to get that for us. We also got a couple other things a little while ago, mostly because we're really bad and spend money we shouldn't. Um, that we thought would be a fun way to get to know each other a little better. Um, another thing of questions that I thought other people could answer and we could get to know each other a little better. Um, drawing prompts, I thought that could be fun, get to know each other's drawing styles, because I know we have very different drawing styles. Um, and a story writing thing, because um, I know multiple of us enjoy writing. Um, yeah, so there are like a bunch of different ways. You can find some of these online, too. There are like prompts you can get online, um, questions you can get online. There are a lot of really fun ways you can get to know those in your system as well. Well, that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If there's something that you do that helps your system communicate, I'd love if you'd comment that down below. It might help me out. It might help someone else out who's watching. If you want to go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would mean a whole lot to me. I've got some great stuff coming that you won't want to miss. I'm going to leave a link to that journal that I talked about earlier if anyone wants to check that out. I'm also going to leave a link to our website where you can find a DID FAQ as well as some links to some resources. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.